Today we are studying the sternum. Sternum is a flat bone forming the anterior median part of the thoracic skeleton. Its shape resembles a short sword. Upper part corresponding to the handle is called the manubrium. Middle part resembles the blade is called the body. Lowest tapering part of forming the point of the sword is zephyr process, the ZP sternum. Zephyr process is not seen in the given bone. It is about 17 cm long. Its anatomical position, the long axis is vertical. It lies in the median part of the anterior thoracic wall and anterior surface also faces a little upwards. Now, manubrium and its features. Manubrium is also called as pre-sternum or episternum. It is somewhat triangular in shape and is wider above than below. It has two surfaces, anterior and posterior, four borders, superior, inferior and two lateral. Anterior surface, pectoralis major and sternal head of sternocleidomastoid muscle originates from this surface on each half. Posterior surface, it forms the anterior boundary of superior mediastinum. Sternohyoid muscle originates at level of clavicular notch and sternothyroid muscle at level of facet for the first coastal cartilage. Each half is related to pl parietal pleura. Arch of aorta is related in the lower half, while the upper half is related to branches of arch of aorta and left brachiocephalic vein. Now the borders, superior border, it is thick and rounded. Concavity in middle is called the suprasternal notch or also called as the jugular notch. Deep cervical fascia, the investing layer and interclavicular ligament is attached to the suprasternal notch. Clavicular notch on each side of the suprasternal notch forms the sternoclavicular joint with the medial end of the clavicle. The inferior border articulates with upper end of the body of sternum to form the manubriosternal joint which is a secondary cartilaginous joint. Manubrium forms a little angulation at its junction with the body. This is called the angle of Lewis or the sternal angle which is felt as a prominent transverse ridge on the anterior surface. Sternal angle articulates on either side with the second coastal cartilage, thus forms an important landmark for counting the ribs. Lateral border, two lateral borders, right and left. Upper part forms the primary cartilaginous joint with the first coastal cartilage and has a demi facet for the second coastal cartilage. Now going to the body, it is also called as mesosternum or gladiolus. It has two surfaces, anterior surface, posterior surface, two borders, right lateral and the left lateral and two ends that is upper and the lower end. Anterior surface, the body of the sternum is formed by fusion of four small segments called the sternebrae. Sites of fusion of sternebrae are represented on anterior surface of the body in form of three ill-defined horizontal ridges. Pectoralis major muscle originates on the corresponding half. Posterior surface, transversus thoracic muscle originates from both the lower half. Posterior surface is related to right lung and pleura on the right side and on the left side the upper part is related to the left lung and pleura and the pericardium in its lower part. The lateral border, it is having complete facet for 3rd to 6th coastal cartilage and has a demis facet for the 2nd coastal cartilage at the upper end and a demi facet for the 7th coastal cartilage in its lower end along with the zephyr process. Now its end, upper end, as told here earlier, it articulates with the manubrium sterni to form the manubriosternal joint. Lower end, it is narrow and articulates with the zephyr process to form the zippy sternal joint 
which is also a secondary cartilaginous joint. The zipoid process, it is the lowest and the smallest part of the sternum. Its posterior surface gives origin to diaphragm and its lower end, it gives attachment to the linea alba. Now going to the ossification, sternum ossifies from six centers, one for manubrium and four for sternebrae, one for each sternebrae and one for xiphoid process. The sternum develops by fusion of two sternal plates formed on either side of the mid midline. The fusion takes place in the craniocaudal direction. The body completely develops by 25 years of age and xiphoid process fuses with the body at about 40 years of age. Now the applied aspects related to the sternum. Sometimes the sternebrae ossify by double centers and fail to fuse in the midline. The defects can be the sternum foramen or the other condition can be cleft sternum. Sternal puncture is a useful procedure for hematological examination where a thick needle is introduced in the red marrow, bone marrow of the sternum to get the acquired sample. Sternal fracture is common in the automobile accidents. Backward displacement of the sternum where the sternal fragments may lead to the injury to the aortic, cardiac or the liver which can cause the injury to the structures related to the posterior surface of the sternum. Abnormal shape of the thorax associated with anomalies of the sternum. Funnel chest. Chest is compressed anteroposteriorly. Sternum is pushed backwards compressing the heart. Another condition is pigeon chest. Chest is compressed from side to side and the sternum is projected forwards.